everybody, what's up? It's Jaylac and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, then welcome to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a super fast, like quick, everyday, 10 minute, you're running out the door and you need to like have your face look nice kind of makeup look, like a no makeup makeup look. And it's super easy, super effortless, not many products involved at all. Most products I'll use like for one thing and then I'll use it again for the other. So yeah, it's a pretty easy look and it's just fast simple it looks fresh like my face looks fresh and i feel like i don't feel heavy i feel good and yeah so i wanted to show you guys what i do for a quick makeup like no makeup makeup look and if you'd like to see how to get this look then please keep on watching all right guys let's get started so first i'm gonna start with the eyes whether i do a glam look or like an everyday 10 minute look i always start with the eyes first just because it takes me the longest so i'm gonna take this wet and wild concealer and it's in the shade medium tawny and i'm just gonna use this to make an even base on my eyelids even if i'm just doing like a 10 minute thing i always like doing this because i just like having the eyelid look smooth in like one shade because eyelids tend to be a little bit darker than the normal so I like to even that out and I'm just taking my beauty sponge and blending it out. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced setting powder and I'm just going to put this on top of the concealer so that we don't have any creasing throughout the day. Okay, now for eyeshadow, I use two colors on my eyelids, so I'm going to take this Soft Glam palette, and I'm first going to take this shade Burnt Orange right here, and then I'm going to take the shade Rustic and put it on top of that, and I just like to have two shades because this is like a really easy everyday kind of a thing, and you don't have that much time, so I like to put a lighter brown shade down first, and then I put a darker brown shade just to define the eyelid a little bit more and it looks really good and effortless and you still get some definition. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade right here, Rustic, and I'm just gonna put that over on top. And I like to focus this on the outside first, just so we have like a little outer V definition and then I bring it into the, the crease. I'm gonna do the same thing. To the other side, focus it in the in the outer V and then I bring it into the crease. Okay, cool. So the eyeshadow is now done and it looks really nice because it looks like you have definition and it looks like you tried, but you really just put two shades so you don't have to try that hard. So now I'm going to take my NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm going to draw a wing. You don't have to use eyeliner or do a wing, but I just feel weird without a wing. So I'm just going to draw on a wing real fast. Okay, now that that's finally on, I feel like honestly if I didn't do wing eyeliner, this look would be cut down to like five minutes, but this, the wing, it just takes the longest time. But yeah, so now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I'm gonna put this on my eyelashes. And I love this mascara because for every day, like I don't like to put fake eyelashes on. I only put fake eyelashes on if I'm like doing something serious, like going out or something. But for every day, I do want my eyelashes to look long, but I don't wanna wear falsies. So I just put this mascara on and this mascara makes my eyelashes look so long. It's cr actually crazy. Cause my eyelashes naturally are not long at all. So this mascara really does a good job. Okay, so I'm done with the eyes. So look at my lashes, like they look nice and long. Like I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, they, they look nice and long in person. And so now we're gonna move on to the face. So, okay, this next thing, this is the Bare Minerals Tinted Hydrating Gel um, Moisturizer Cream thing. And so I actually have a sample and I've been loving this so much, but they give me a lot in the sample. So once I run out of the sample, I'm gonna buy the thing. So for now, I'll just have this picture up here for you guys. But yeah, this is in the shade 6.5 Desert and this is so good. Like it works so good and you apply it so fast and I just like really been liking it. So 
I'll just take a little, literally, and put it on my face, and then I just blend it in with my fingers, like this. And I like this a lot because it has SPF 30 in it, and it's not heavy at all because it's literally just like a, a, a gel cream type situation. And just do the same thing to the other side. And yeah, it's like pretty effortless. And so obviously you can tell like this isn't meant to cover a lot obviously but for something like going to like i'm going to be starting school again and um you know you just want to look like kind of nice but like not like too much because you're just sitting in class um so this is probably what i'll end up wearing every day because it's just so easy and and it's not heavy at all it's just it feels so light because it is it's just like a gel thing But it does give you like a little bit of nice coverage. Like I feel like it gives me a nice little um, filter, like, you know, like a little filter, not like foundation, but just like a little filter. Okay, so now that that's on, now I'm gonna take uh, the same Wet n Wild concealer that I used on my eyelids. And I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes just to cover the circles a little bit. And I put way less concealer than I would if I was doing like an, like a, you know normal makeup routine because I'm not trying to have that much and yeah I only just put it underneath my eyes and then I just blend it out with the sponge the reason I only put it underneath my eyes and not like on my forehead chin and nose and stuff is because like I said like this is just like an everyday kind of like no makeup makeup look and so I just don't want to be highlighted all over the place because I'm just trying to look like I look fresh, but not like I have a lot, a lot of makeup on just because it's, it's not that serious, you know? Okay, cool. So now I'm going to take the same Too Faced powder we used and I'm just going to set uh, the concealer in place. And you want to make sure to set it so that it doesn't start looking crazy after like a couple hours. And then what I like to do is, since I did put on that gel um, before, I do want to set my face because I do want this, this look to last. I don't want it to like fade away. So I'm just going to use a bigger, like fluffier brush and I'm going to take the same Too Faced powder and I'm just going to like put it on this brush and I'm just going to like dust it all over my face. And so this powder is translucent so you can just put it all over your face. And I just like to do this to like kind of ensure that it's not gonna, you know, go anywhere too soon. And the, the gel thing does kind of um, make your skin, like gives it a little sheen. And so this will just mattify that and make it look like nice and just smooth, you know? Okay, next I'm gonna take this Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. And bronzer is a must for like any look, whether it's like a no makeup makeup look or like a full glam look. And so I put this in all my normal bronzing areas because bronzer just gives your face so much definition. I think that's so important. So I put it on my forehead, my cheeks, and then my jawbone a little bit too. Okay, so now for highlight, I just put a little bit of highlighter and today I'm going to take this Maybelline uh, Molten Gold Highlighter and I just like to put a little bit of highlighter, like honestly the tiniest bit because I don't want like want to go ham. I just put literally the tiniest bit, like you can like kind of almost not even tell, but it's just like a little bit. It looks like you're just like glistening, you know, it's not like you really put it there. It looks like you could have maybe even just been sweating. And just a little on my nose right here and that's it and then now since I have the highlighter out this is where I like to put it in my inner corner and this is where I like to go like a little ham because I love inner corner highlight and this is where I like will will put it on because this will really wake up your face just this little highlight in this little area will literally wake up your face and make you look so awake and fresh and yeah this is like a must
All right, so I'm also gonna take this time to get my telescopic mascara, and this has like a thinner brush, and I'm gonna put this on my lower lashes now that we have like all the makeup on. And now I'm just gonna do the lip. And so I'm gonna take this Rimmel London Tiramisu Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna take one of my favorite uh, Clinique lipstick in the shade Tender Heart. And this is my favorite, this is my go-to lipstick for like an everyday look. Okay, so lipstick is on. It's just like a nice flush of color and yeah, I just love this so much. And so now I'm gonna take my Milani Make It Last setting spray and I'm just gonna set my face with this and then we're done. All right guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like seeing my really fast, like 10 minute every day, going to school, going to work, like doing something effortless makeup look. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.